How to use Dropbox, a Dropbox tutorial for beginners. In this video, we're going to be talking about Dropbox, one of the greatest cloud-based softwares out there that allow you to go ahead and use a proper cloud-based storage solution that allows you to save and access files from anywhere. It's basically just like Google Drive if you've used it. And we're going to be talking on how you're going to be using it and maximizing its input to the fullest. Now, to start things off, you're going to come over to Dropbox.com. And right over here, you're going to go ahead and click on Get Started. Now, creating an account is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to Get Started. And now that we've gone to Get Started, here we have four different plans. So you have the Plus plan, you have the Professional plan, and goes on. But they also have the basic plan, which is totally free. So you can get that as well. So you don't need to you know, worry about paying them. Obviously, it's different if you have a lot of files to upload because they only give you two gigabytes, which is one of the biggest cons of Dropbox. Like you do need to pay them to actually get a decent amount of storage for yourself. So once you have signed in, what's going to happen is it's going to take you through to the onboarding. Now in the onboarding, it's going to ask you a few things, you know, ask you for this trial. So if you want to get a trial, you can use that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue with the basic plan. Now it's going to say, welcome to Dropbox, John. What do you think you'll mostly use Dropbox for? So we have personal where you can edit and share photos and videos, work where you can work with a team or clients or school where you can collaborate on assignments. I'm going to go with personal for now. And here it says connect your devices. You can install your desktop and mobile apps as well. I'm simply going to go ahead and skip that step. Now, once you're here, it says, you know, we have all these folders and files over here that you can pretty much work with. Now, this is where you're going to be dragging and dropping your files. OK, so to, you know, give you a proper context behind Dropbox. Yes, it's a cloud based storage solution allows you to save and access files from anywhere. So you visit the website, you sign up for a free account. And once registered, you can choose to download the application on your computer. Now, this creates a dedicated Dropbox folder on your device, which syncs automatically with your online account. And if you come over here, you can usually find Dropbox right over here if you've connected it with your Windows. I currently haven't, but generally, Windows will have it. Now, adding files is pretty straightforward. You drag and drop them into your Dropbox folder and they'll upload to the cloud. So let's say I have this file over here. OK, I drag and drop it. And once you do that, as you can see, it shows you the upload. And once it's uploaded, there we go. Now we have a file in our Dropbox. Now you can organize your files into folders, making it easier to manage your documents, photos and other media. So let's say over here, I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And we have create a folder, create a document, presentation and what not. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder and I'm going to call this work. Now, once you've done that, simply click on create again. And here's the work folder created. Now, what you can do is you can either separately upload things into this or what you can do is you can come here. We have this you simply drag it into the work folder. And once you drag it here, you can see you have the file in your Dropbox. Now, Dropbox also offers a web interface, allowing you to access your files from any device with the Internet access, as you can clearly see in front of you. Now, once we are over here, sharing files is another powerful feature. So right click on any folder, go to share. And here you can either share with Dropbox, transfer a copy, send and track and send for review to get feedback. Usually what people do is they send it through Dropbox and what happens is it gives them a link or to invite specific people via email. You can also set permissions, deciding whether recipients can view or edit the content in real time. And for collaborative projects, Dropbox paper provides a workspace where multiple users can contribute. So what you can do to access that is pretty much come over here and you have Dropbox paper doc. Now, obviously, to use that, you will need to verify your account, confirm your email and everything. And once you pretty much do that, it you know sets you on a straightforward journey straight into your Dropbox belongings. Now, another great thing about Dropbox is its signature feature. And obviously, to use all of those fun little things, you are going to want to go ahead and verify yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and verify my email. And once I verify my email, let me show you what it looks like. Now, once I have verified my account right over here, you 
we'll see the different features that I can actually operate with. So let's go over to create and in create. Let's go ahead and create Dropbox Paper Doc. Now you're probably wondering what is Dropbox Paper? If you've never used this, let me show you. So what you can do is you can pretty much create a whole document. So this is something that Google Drive will not give you. For this, you will need to go to Google Docs. Dropbox, on the other hand, allows you to create documents in their own application. So let's say I want to name this uh, first doc. And right here, you can pretty much start typing whatever you want. And if you use Notion, you will get affiliated with this pretty quickly. And you can also add different features down here. Like, let's say I want to insert an image. I'm going to insert that right here. And you can go on by inserting different types of media, insert Dropbox files, you have tables, and so on more. So this is a pretty good feature. You know, if you are in a work life workspace, having Dropbox to manage your files and then having a proper document section in your manager is one of the best things ever. You know, it's an all in one workplace, basically, where you can not only manage your files, where you can also create documents those documents get saved in your drive. And what you can do further on is also create presentations using Microsoft PowerPoint or Google Slides. And for documents, you can also use Microsoft Word and Google Docs as well. Now, moving over to spreadsheets, you can use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets to do that. Then you also have Web Shortcut, where you can create a new URL specifically for your Dropbox as well. So if you want to, you know, go ahead through a shortcut, you can do that. You can also request files from users. So if there's any user, you can basically create a new request for them. Let them know that, hey, uh, you were supposed to send me this file. I haven't gotten it. Please, can you send it to me? So those are different file requests that you can opt for. And as you go on, import files from Google Drive. And you can also go ahead and edit different things for yourself. Like, let's say I want to go ahead and edit an image, right? So you click on edit image and they're going to ask you, you know, which image are we exactly talking about? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add any image in my drive. So I'm going to go to file and let's go ahead and add this image right here. So once this image uploads, let's go ahead and actually try editing it through the editing feature because, you know, it properly provides us an editor, in my opinion, and it works pretty incredibly. So open up the image. We have this. You click on choose. And as you can see right over here, we're going to get the editor. Now, obviously, the editing isn't anything like Photoshop or something, but you can adjust the different colors like brightness or contrasts and all the other whatnots. So, you know, pretty much just pretty basic, pretty straightforward, but it's a nice little feature to have in a software like this. So this is the main idea of Dropbox and how you're going to be using it for yourself in the easiest way. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more. So that is all from me. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.